Hallelujah. Papa, we give you all the glory. We give you praise, our Lord and our God. What shall we render unto you, O God, for all your mercies, for all your grace, for all the gifts that you've given unto us. We say we thank you so, so much. Father, we will not do well if we do not appreciate you. We will not do well at all if we do not mention your name wherever we are. Because, Father, you have changed our lives and you have given us peace within. Peace, perfect peace in this world of sin. Thank you so much. This Today, too, precious Holy Spirit, we pray that you have your way. Please speak to us so we'll understand you. Thank you so much. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, we thank God for your life. And I believe you are doing well. In case you are not feeling well in your body, I pray for the healing touch of the Most High God to touch you today and receive your healing if you believe say amen and if you are sick also in the spirit may the spirit of god who sees through and through may he touch your spiritual life as well in the mighty name of jesus arise on your feet do not lag behind for the enemy is roaring about like an angry lion seeking for someone to devour so do not give him the chance. Hallelujah. We will take our devotional reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, the verses 8 to 13. First of all, from verse 1 to 7, Paul was drawing uh, uh, the attention of the church in Corinth in the same way the Spirit of God is drawing attention today as children of God to the lessons from Israel's idolatry. When the Lord was taking them through to the land of Canaan, most of them worshipped idols and they drank and misbehaved. They did so many things that God was against God, things that made God angry. The wrath of God came upon them. And so some of them were scattered in the desert here and there. So we continue from verse 8 and it says that, And we must not engage in sexual immorality as some of them did, causing 23,000 of them to die in one day. Nor should we put Christ to the test, as some of them did, and then died from snake bites. And don't grumble, as some of them did, then were destroyed by the angel of death. These things happened to them as examples for us. They were written down to warn us who live at the end of the age. And that is, you and I, we are living at the end of the age. Verse 12 says, If you think you are standing strong, be careful not to fall. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experienced or others experienced. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Hallelujah. And so God knows best and he knows the right thing to tell us at the right time. Right now, maybe you are suffering. Maybe you are going through some trials and temptations, some tribulations here and there. God is telling us that he knows what we are going through and that he will not allow anything, anything, any temptation, any trial, anything that is more than us. It means that what you are going through, God has deemed you faithful that you'll be able to stand. So do not throw in the towel. Do not give up. It may be a matter concerning your children. It may be your married life, marriage life. It may be your work. It may be your health. It may, it may be uh, people intimidating you. So you are thinking that after all, no one is seeing me. No one is appreciating what I'm doing. No, if it is according to the will of God, God appreciates all that you do. And that the Holy Spirit is always here for us to strengthen us. He says that in your weakness, I'm there to let you know that my strength is perfect. 
May the Lord help us to understand him better so that we will not give up on him because he has not given up on us. May the Lord help us rather to spread the gospel, share the gospel, like this message, and then if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel so that you'll be listening to our morning devotions every day. Have a fruitful day and stay blessed. Bye-bye.